Hey everybody, it's Victoria Lee, your girl, with Creative Magazine. We are here today to have a creative convo with a beautiful artist and performer, entertainer, creative all around, Gabby B. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for taking the time to come see us. Of course. I'm excited to have this conversation today. Me too. <laughs> so I know today is a special day for you as you are having your release of your single today called Fire. Yes. Yes. So I read a little bit about it saying that it's in regards to perception. Like you want people to ha perceive you, like how you want people to perceive you. Can you explain to us a little bit about what exactly is it that you want your audience to see when you perform, when you sing, when you make music? So I have two sides of me um, and that I uh, put in my music. So I have the very performance and dancey uh, vibe and then I have the sad vibe where it's more of my story. So I want people to see me as an artist, um, the, the cultural elements that I put into my um, songs because I appreciate and I love my culture and I love cultural it, culture in general. Mm -hmm. um, but I also want them to see my stories and in, um, feel it in the songs, yeah. by the lyrics, by every stories, um, and like be able to see, wow, she's been through bullying, she's been through these things, but look okay. at her now, she's like doing her yes. thing, she's being creative, and like, I'm getting inspired by that. I want to inspire people. Okay, well. they don't, you don't want them, to, you don't want to, people to see you down. You don't want to be like, you know what I mean? They want to see your comeback or your comeback. I, I want them to see my my um, sadness and mm -hmm. what I've gone through because I still suffer with that. I have okay. anxiety, I have okay. ADHD, I oh. have a lot of issues. But it's good because then people are like, wow, you know, I'm not the only one. And Absolutely. I want them to be able to relate to someone and feel like they have someone to talk to. Interesting. Okay. Now, with being in the music industry, there's a lot of negative talk about the industry itself. How do you navigate that negativity or how is the industry for you as a musician? So, yeah, the business is definitely <laughs> very um, not great, but um, what keeps me going is just like it's such a passion of mine singing mm -hmm. and dancing is like something that i really want to do also not only want to do but um like inspiring other people is like i i all that's all i want to do okay and i want them to like be able to do what they want to do also and um but like in the industry like uh I have my team who helps me out and they, okay. they do the business part because yeah. I can't really <laughs> You're more the creative, like yeah, you want to focus I, on the I'm creative. Not, yeah, I'm more the creative person. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely um, interesting and challenging. Yeah. But um, but like the, the, the passion just keeps me going. Okay. Now you've been really serious about pursuing your music career over the last, what, two to three years? Mm -hmm. Right? What made you switch to become really serious about the industry? Um, well, the, the beginning of my career, I started off with covers, um, doing certain covers on YouTube. Okay. And, um, and it's just always been something that I loved so much. Um, and I kept like uh, getting good feedbacks of other people like saying, oh my God, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Okay. Um, and I was like, yeah, I, I love doing this and I have the opportunity to start doing this. And yeah. um, we started recording my own songs. I went to Atlanta. That's where I recorded my first song. Okay. And, and it went on from there and then it just kept going. And then suddenly I blew up on social media and it just like, Everything just kept happening. Ah. Then billboards in New York, and then magazines, and then wow. it just all started happening so quick. But like, it was like so exciting, you know? Yeah. And like, I really, you know, to to be in the in this industry, you have to take it seriously because it's very hard. You have to be dedicated, but it's really wonderful. So, how did you deal with the overwhelming piece of it if, with blowing up or becoming like viral, basically? Not overnight, because nothing is overnight, right? But uh. like. <laughs> Or was it overnight? The well on TikTok <laughs> it was pretty overnight. Like okay, so I had probably about 10, 15k followers on TikTok. Okay. And overnight it went from that to 100k, over 100k followers. Whoa. Just followers. And then there was a video that went from 
you know, zero. I posted the video and it, in one day, in like overnight, it went from zero to like six million. And then the same week, 30 million. And now it's at 40 million. Oh. So, but how do you deal with that overwhelmingness? I mean, it was just so shocking because I've never had, before that, I've never had people say, oh my God, I'm such a fan. I, I, you inspire me and all of that. And when I started getting those and getting people like dancing you know, to the, my choreo or just, you know, trying to copy me, I'm mm -hmm. just like, wow, this, this was just out of nowhere. It was so overnight and I, my adrenaline was like, I'm like, oh my God, I want to keep doing this. I want to keep like, hey. like inspiring other people. Yeah. This is great. You know, the mm -hmm. people like telling me like, oh, I, I, I cry a lot, but your videos like make me feel happy and I just get really happy of that. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're definitely doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is yeah. a good thing. <laughs> it's good. Um, so you have wrote, um, or co-authored this book called Gabby B and Her New School Adventure, which you discuss is about bullying, correct? Yes. Um, so is there a scenario or something deeper that you can provide of an example that you went through of bullying? Of course, so the book, I wrote it more for kids. Obviously it's not gonna go into really, you know, darkness, darkness, because I wanted it to be a little more lighter for the kids. But um, I went through a lot of things in France, um, in Massachusetts, in America, Canada, and for different reasons. Like there would be, um, I would have friends and they would end up backstabbing me in the back. They would end up spitting on me and pushing spitting. me. I got bullied by this boy who just kept on picking me at recess and he would like kick me and I would bleed and you know it was like a lot of things like that it was very physical and very dark if I go for it and then like in America it was more oh you know you're you're fat you know you know you're dumb you know you can't speak English or you can't do this can't do that yeah. um, and racism also you know it got de-invited from a party just because of my color <laughs> wow. it was like all of those things it was very bad We'll definitely dive deeper into the bullying issues. Please stay with us and we'll be right back. BKS Studios is located in the heart of Miami, directly across from MIA. Our live streaming and green screen studios are ideal for your next video. Our kitchen studio can handle any food related project, while our black box studio can tackle your next music video, commercial or event. Our full service video production team will take on a project at any stage of production. And finally, our audio post production team can handle any audio services. BKS will bring your ideas to life and inspire others. Visit us at studiobks.com. Welcome back everybody. We're back with Creative Combo. Again, we're here with performer Gabby B. Now, Gabby, we were discussing a little bit about the bullying, bullying that you experienced as a kid um, and the reason that you wrote your book. Mm -hmm. um, so before the commercial, we were discussing, you were digging a little bit deeper as to what exactly you went through. So do you have one specific incident that you can recall that may inspire others? Um, may inspire others. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're all pretty smushed together. Like, um, there's definitely a lot of stories. Uh, it, it just goes on a really long time. <laughs> um, a but, summed up version. <laughs> but like, I, inspiring, I would say everything in general, being bullied from, you know, the first grade or kindergarten to now, or to um, the last, grade mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say that like now that I do what I do and I'm able to I was able to work so hard and I'm still working so hard creating my own outfits and singing and dancing and like inspiring other people um, I feel like the the bullies back then they see this now I actually have some some people that I saw that follows me now mm -hmm. that used to bully me a lot in school and like that's kind of like the inspiration I would think is that like you know you you could be in school right and then when you get out of school you don't have to deal with that anymore and you could be like the successful person and the bullies could be looking at you and being like wow I wish I was never mean to her now I want to be her friend or whatever so I would say that that's like a little inspiration um, from that. 
Okay. Um, so you were born um, in Brazil, but you were raised in France, yeah. I guess, and transmitted also to South Florida. So you were in between both. Um, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Uh, South okay. Florida. I, ca I came here when I was like 15. So yeah, I mean, teenage years. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was um, raised in France, Canada, and Massachusetts. Okay. And here. And your parents were also in the entertainment and performance realm. Um, so how do you feel like with them being performers and entertainment that that got you where you are today as a performer? Oh my gosh, um, they've been so like inspiring to me my whole entire life. I, they would never leave me with a babysitter. So I would go with them to events, to clubs, to anything. Um, and I would watch them perform. Mm -hmm. I would watch my mom do samba dance or axé, which is a different form of Brazilian dancing. And I would watch my dad do martial arts, Brazilian martial arts and all of that. And um, both of them together, just watching, I was always inspired by that. I was always inspired by drawing, okay. by everything. Like it's just, art is in like our family yes and like i didn't know what where i wanted to go when i grew up i just knew i wanted to be in the entertainment industry okay. i wanted to do something act whatever it was um and also my mom writes music she also sings so i used to get inspired by that too i used to write my own little lyrics inspired by her and a mixture of hannah montana i used to be obsessed with hannah montana in <laughs> france <laughs> and americans i was obsessed with americans in france you were <laughs> yeah Interesting. Um, that's kind of like where the book um kind of came from is because I was uh, I wanted to ride a yellow school bus because it's such an American thing you only see it on TV uh, yeah nowhere else there's a yellow school bus and I'm like <laughs> I wanted the locker I want the composition book you know the black and white composition book and I want to ride the yellow school bus and it's not all it's cracked up to be is no. it no uh, yeah I once I got so. here oh my gosh it was <laughs> Oh, like at first, obviously at first it's like, oh, it's the first day, it's cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, um, the the students would be a bit mean because I wouldn't speak English oh, well. Yes, I was obviously I just came from France. They're not used to that. They're probably used to people coming from different places. You're right. But it was just um, I was like this girl who was born in Brazil, but I had a French accent when I spoke in English. They didn't know how to take you. No, they yeah. didn't. Um, <laughs> even the teachers kind of made me feel stupid. Mm -hmm. um, it was just like it was definitely hard for for me. Welcome to America is what they were saying <laughs> yeah so you know <laughs> um yeah so i would say like it was it was definitely hard but i still love america i love okay. being here i love living here it's really nice and green <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's good so back to your music what is the core message that you really want to relate to your audience and for your legacy to be be you do you and um, grow up to be who you want to be, basically. Nice and sweet. I yeah. like that. Um, so what's next for you? Anything that the, you know, the audience should probably be aware of that's what's next? Um, yeah, actually I'm performing at the Pride Festival. It's this, it's the biggest festival in South Florida or in Florida. Um, it's at, um, it's in Fort Lauderdale area, uh, the Wilton Manor. Um, and uh, and I'm gonna be performing at prime time, 9 p.m. Um, and it's gonna be this really, really fun moment for Pride Month. And I love that community, mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I'm also performing at uh, Swim Week in Miami. Um, that's gonna Ooh. be in July, July 7th, I'll be performing in Swim Week, so that's exciting. And you've also performed at New York Fashion Week and yes. LA Fashion Week. Yes. So how was those performances oh as well? My I've always wanted to do that. I love fashion also. Um, nice. I, I was, one, once I heard that I was gonna be performing in New York, I'm like, oh my God, the heart of Fashion Week. Yes. I was so excited. So um, so when I did that, then like I got to do the, the LA one and I, and I made my own outfits mm -hmm. um, when I went to perform there and it was just so fun. And now like I get to do it again in Miami. In Miami. And, I'm like, wow, this is so fun. <laughs> I get to walk with models and just do my thing. Yay! <laughs> I love it. Well, make sure that you definitely check out Gabby B as she performs at Pride, Pride um, Week or Miami Fashion Week. Um, now, Gabby, if anybody's interested in following you or you know knowing more, where can they find you? 
Um, I have Instagram, TikTok at Gabby B underscore music, G-A-B-B-Y-B underscore music. And my music, you can find it on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all at Gabby B or Gabby B Music. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching today with Creative Convo. Again, I'm your host, Victoria Lee. You can find us, Creative Magazine, at www.creativemag.net. And again, creative is with no E, um, just to make sure you can check us out and subscribe. <laughs>